Once the Pro Bowl stopped being in Hawaii, LaShawn stopped going. But do you remember any of these? This is 2017. Yeah, I remember that. I was out of shape, having a good time, a lot of drinks, a lot of fun. You're lying. You said I scored a touchdown in the Pro Bowl. You don't even remember scoring a touchdown in the Pro Bowl. I, yeah, because I only went to two, like, I mean, three, I had six three of six Pro Bowls. I didn't really, I didn't really go to them. You played in three. I imagine on very I little sleep. Two, three. three. We did the. You did the research, you scored a touchdown in one. Let's tear apart the Pro Bowl a little bit. It was better when it was in Hawaii. Now that they've got these skills competitions, no, we love them, of course, uh, and it'll be a lot of fun. You have Peyton and Eli out there doing their thing. Um, we had the, the skills competition last night, so we thought we could play a little shade or no shade animation, and you tell me what you think about these. First up, we have the precision passing event with Baker Mayfield. What do you make of, let's Baker. see it, do we have it? Baker made the Pro Bowl? Baker? Yes. Yes, Baker made. He won that. He won the NFC South. I mean, what do you make of this precision passing? We're Baker fans on this show. I, I'm not. I'm not. I like Baker. He's cool. What boat is he on? He got some great commercials. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. All I right. Like it. You, 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 how, how would you do in this? Could you throw? I would do good. You would throw better than Baker? I mean, I won't say that. He's a he's a starting quarterback. Okay. Next up, we have the catch competition. So this is Puka Nakua. I'm sure you've watched him He's all nice. season long. He's catching a football on a wakeboard. He catch it? Oh, he got hands, though. Did he catch it? I didn't he even caught see. that. Give me that. Would, yeah. Would, would you do this? Yeah. I probably would have, like, went off that ramp and caught it. Is this something you would try? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, Shady. Oh, we got to get you back in the Pro Bowl. Next up, we're giving some love to the O-line. This is Snapshots. And Jason Kelsey hitting a five-pointer. That's my boy right there. Did he get it? Come on, he can't know Kelsey's gonna get that. What's the team gonna be like without him? He coming back. You think he's coming back? Yeah. Why? We love it. They you love it, and we love him. You don't think he'll leave? Okay, all right, Jason, yeah. you heard it here first. Why don't you text Jason and ask? He's a Swifty. <laughs> he's a Swifty. Uh -huh. Are you a Swifty? Yes, I am. Okay, I love you. you're like I'm not dumb. I <laughs> <laughs> then we have the Pro Bowl closest to the pin competitions. So this is hitting the hole of the Pro Bowl with oh, a whole new meeting. Who's that right there? Who is that? I don't know. Uh, Who is that? Do we? Yo, they, they let anybody the Pro Bowl now, though. What does that mean? I don't like this. They're gonna try to, you know, discredit my Pro Bowls, man. After a while. Well, you don't even remember your Pro Bowls, so. I never. Now, this is what I will but say. But you like that six-time Pro Bowler, LaShawn McCoy. You like that, yo, don't you? And none of them was alternate. Not one. Um, then there was the AFC versus NFC dodgeball competition. Who thinks the best dodgeball player in the NFL? Who would be the best? Uh, CeeDee Lamb look good. Yeah, he's, he's He's good in football. He's good in. I he, can't believe how good he is. That boy's talented. How, that last game. What he's, happened? He's a beast. Okay, so this is the Pro Bowl Schools competition. There we have it. I can see Parsons being good at this game, too. Why? He's just a freak athlete. Who's like the, the most athletic person in the NFL, in your opinion? Micah? Micah, Trent Williams. Trent's uh, crazy. Trent's amazing. He's, he's old, still fast, can run still strong. I'll be sad if they don't win. I like, uh, would, you, would you consider Debo an athlete? He could play every position, running yeah. back, wide receiver. Yeah, he's out there on returns. He could he's, throw the ball. I think he's super athletic. Uh, I think Tyreek Hill. How does this game go? Super Bowl 58. I know you have, you know, Andy Reid will get to that in a second, but how does it go? I'm going to say the same thing I've been telling everybody for the last three weeks. The Bills should beat the Chiefs. The Bravens should beat the Chiefs. I mean. The Niners should beat all better teams. They should beat the Chiefs. But you never bet against... Tom Brady and Bill Belichick in this era. Yes. In this era, you never bet against Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. And you think they're going to get it done? I'm putting 100 grand on it. With the <laughs> I've been hit the last three. The last four, are you legitimately three, putting 100 grand on the it? The last three pro, last three Super Bowls, I've hit. 100 grand bets? I'm betting it. Are you 25 insane? cents? 100 grand? Hey, I did good for myself. Can right? I be your assistant? Please, what? I'm betting, it. I'm bet, I'm betting it all on the Chiefs. I'm going with Big Red and Andy Reid and, and uh, Tom and um, I said Tom and uh, Patrick Mahomes. I, I, I came out against them. Uh, you just flexed on Deshaun they been Jackson. There. I'm not so flexing. Hard. No, Deshaun came on our show and I said, "What?" He goes, "I lost a lot of money." And I said, "What did you lose?" And I said, "Like a like a used Honda, like that, that kind of a thing, like a twenty grand." And he was like, "Something around that." I'm a gamer. There. You're gonna do a hundred grand. You're, Deshaun's your boy, right? De Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. He owes me money. That's so. Why? Man, he'll, he'll answer your call. He's not answering my call right now. Hey, Deshaun, I need my money. Okay, are you guys not? Are we not doing the podcast then? Yeah. I'm okay. Okay. Still okay. Money, I, don't, I don't. I never know with you guys. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. I want everybody to get along. Okay, um, we're going to the Super Bowl. Gronk is going to attempt a field goal in front of millions of people. Do you think he makes or misses it? Oh, he makes it. And, and with the Bucks, my last year was his last year. Yeah. Or my last year, I played one in 2020. He kicked field goals. 
What do you mean he kicks you? Like, like in practice and stuff like that? Just yeah. for fun? Just hanging out. I didn't you know get that. It. All right. Um, okay, what are we doing? We're going to oh, make or miss here. We're going to play this game. We're gonna, in, in honor of Gronk, and Gronk's going to make it. You mentioned Jason Kelsey, who's not retiring, apparently. Oh, we have these paddles. Make or miss. Okay. Look, how, look how good. Look, how, look at that. Look so at us. Cool. Um, yeah, Jason Kelsey rocking flip flops and a big Lebowski sweater on his way to the Pro Bowl in Orlando. That is him. That? that is him. That is him. That's my boy right there. Is that good or bad? A make or a miss? That's good. Make. That's on. good. Yes. We... It's Kels. He's ready to go to Vegas. I feel like this is not Big Lebowski at all. I think this is the hangover guy. This is Zach Galifianakis with the baby, right? That's how he That's how he dressed. That's how he acts. He's the same. Yeah, I don't think it's... Yeah, okay. Eric Bieniemy. Oh. Someday they... getting a coaching job in the NFL, make or miss. They told me I was crazy what I said. Never? I haven't... I haven't, why would you? Yes. Why would you hire him? What do he do? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. CBS has confirmed SpongeBob is performing Sweet Victory to kick off Nickelodeon's first ever Super Bowl broadcast. Is that a make or a miss? Is that Sweet Caroline? Sweet Caroline. Sweet Victory? What the heck? I don't know, I don't know. I've never heard of it. I'm gonna say Are you a SpongeBob guy? Uh, I like Squidward. We like Nate though, Nate's doing that broadcast. Oh, so we're gonna I get like, Nate. I love Nate. We Come love on. Nate Burleson. I rap Nate. We rap Nate every day. Okay, uh, the Raiders are hiring Cliff Kingsbury. As their new offensive Ooh. coordinator. Over. Who are the? Who else got interviews? Chip what? Kelly. Got hey. a couple. He did. He got a couple interviews reportedly. For real. Uh huh. What well, do you I make do about Cliff getting the job over uh, with Pierce over Chip? Uh. <laughs> it's a tough I like one. It. You do I like. like it. <laughs> AP, I knew I liked you, brother. As a player, as a coach. Smart move. He he interviewed Chip Kelly a bunch of times. Isn't but, that interesting? Yeah, but I guess he probably had. You know how that is. You he know somebody knows somebody. He had to, you know. <laughs> or his cousin close. was like, I know him from yeah. UCLA. You gotta get over so there. So they was like, got you. If you see if you see Chip Kelly, what does that go? How does that go? I'm older now, um, but I would ask him like, what were you thinking? Yeah. Right. What were you thinking? Yeah, and you should ask it just like it didn't, that. It didn't work. It was like bad, bad. I don't <laughs> Tom Brady and Josh Allen are playing in this week's, week's Pebble Beach Pro-Am on the PGA Tour. Make or miss each of their swings. That's Tom. Tom. Tom's in better shape than ever. Yes, he is. Look at him. Look at my boy. All right, Alex Guerrero. Okay, and this is Josh Allen. That's still Tom. Let's see Josh. Okay, Tommy. There's Josh. Yeah. Uh, Why are they wearing the same thing? I don't know, but one thing, they're competitive as hell. They might be smiling, having fun. I know how Josh's thinking, and I know how Tom is thinking. They both want to win. Um, we're going to make that one. All right, Shady, we're going to let you go. What are you doing today? What's on What's on speak? Uh, probably Super Bowl talk. Who's your pick? I, I don't know. You know. I think it, I really would like it for Trent, and I would really like it for Christian. But what about, I love Christian, too. Like, I think Christian, weirdly, I know everybody, I feel like he wants it so bad. No, nah, he deserves it. He peace. wants it enough for everybody, so it makes me sad to not get but, it. But, but, I mean, if Shanahan doesn't get it, what does that mean? It's like no, a, he's, nothing. He's, a great, he's still a good coach, really, really good coach. Yeah. But what about the legacy of Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes? But, yeah. You feel me? We all about legacy the cool, and, and yeah. storyline. The cool thing is, everyone's comparing him to Tom. Tom took less money. Tom was like, build the best team around me. Patrick Mahomes is the highest paid dude right now. We've yeah. never seen a highest paid guy, highest paid quarterback in the NFL in the salary cap era has never won the Super Bowl. That's huge. That's, I'm so good that you're going to pay me, I'm going to win, and Brett Veach is so good that he's going to surround me why, with fifth rounders like Jerry Lajarius that's, Sneed. That's why you pay guys like that. Yeah. Right? Because no matter what can happen, we'll always have a chance to win. But and you, Brett yeah. Veach, the, one of the best GMs in football, so I trusted him. Howie. Howie too. Oh, oh, Howie. <laughs> Who would you have? Head to head, Veach versus Howie. Oh, Cole, do this to me. Who's Come winning on. in dodgeball? I love, I love uh, Howie. <laughs> Brett Veach is my, that's my guy, guy. <laughs> We came up together, kind of, so, yeah. but they're both my guys. I don't know. I have no idea who I, who, who I think is going to win yet. I have to figure it out. I don't know. I don't when even you, know what it, it's going to The best defense is going to win, and that looks like Kansas City. When you think about the game, you want to make a bet, think of me. I'm, I would, if I lost $30, I would say, I'm out of here. That's a pair of oh, Converse sneakers. Oh, listen. I'm they, out. A good saying, they say, scared money don't make no money. Scared money don't make no money. Uh, Shady's uh -huh. here, guys. Check them out on Speak Today on FS1. They're going to be talking about all sorts of uh, stuff with the Super Bowl. You'll be at the Super Bowl next week. Um, and your 25 and 10 show is, a, is happening. Is happening.
Yeah. It's gonna be popping. You, you coming on, right? You don't even know you when. Come on, you hold coming on. on? Hold time out. You don't even know when this is starting, do you? No, nah, probably like uh, like maybe two weeks after the Super Bowl. Probably maybe, like, maybe, or maybe we got the. Super you Bowl. can see it probably like in two weeks after yeah. the Super. We gonna have Bowl. a launch and all that, all that type of the promo. <laughs> we'll be back. Excited. I want to be invited. We've got we'll Trey, uh, Trey McBride on the show after this. You want to know the Cardinal safety is gonna crush it next year, make or miss. All right, you love you love Gronk. We love the tight end McBride. We're talking more tight ends. Right, it's this. good.